Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Revi Suchak, who is the Vice President for Public Affairs at EMEA uh, for the American Tower Corporation. Ravi, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about smart digital development. It's the theme of uh, ITU Telecom World. What does it mean to you and American Tower Corporation? Well, as American Tower, we've uh, developed the view that smart digitization uh, needs to be sustainable. Uh, indeed, present uh, needs are challenging, uh, but in overcoming them, our future generations should not be compromised. And therefore, smart digital uh, development should impact uh, different economic sectors, should safeguard our environment, and support local communities, uh, which is what we are trying to do at American Tower, for example, through our Digital Village uh, initiative, uh, through which we provide free uh, ICT education and training uh, in the local communities we support. Uh, but for smart digital development to be a reality, uh, particularly in emerging and developing markets, there is a need for more and better infrastructure. And to realize the infrastructure uh, and therefore digitization objectives, the role of the tower industry is essential uh, as we enable mobile network operators to improve their service and their network and expand their coverage to uh, areas which are underserved uh, or not served at all in some cases. Uh, and the, the last point I would make on this as for digital development to be sustainable, it must be underpinned by institutional and regulatory certainty and uh, also policies uh, which incentivize uh, investment uh, and, and uh, innovation. Now, I'm sure you'll tell me that they are, but why are tower companies important to the ICT landscape? Uh, tower companies play a fundamental role in the ICT ecosystem. Uh, towers uh, are the uh, basic building blocks uh, for the rollout of wireless technologies and companies like American Tower build quality, reliable, resilient uh, infrastructure enabling uh, the next generation of wireless technologies uh, and therefore uh, bringing improved services. So take 5G for example which is going to uh, revolutionize the ICT landscape. 5G uh, will be anchored by wide coverage uh, macro cell towers and it's essential therefore that there is an extensive network of towers and small cells for 5G to be deployed. And that's why the role of the tower companies as an enabler uh, is, is fundamental. So we're not longer going to be seeing these enormous towers, but it's going to be a lot of smaller towers relaying one to another. Is that the way it's going to work? Yes, that's, that's certainly for, for 5G. And because of densification, uh, you will be seeing a lot more of those combined with so-called smart furniture. Right, yeah, because I've seen towers uh, that have been uh, made to look like trees and all sorts of things like that to fit in with the landscape, etc. That's, that's where it's going. Right, okay, <laughs> fantastic. So what are some of the key challenges for tower companies in ex expanding in uh, emerging markets? I will uh, I'll mention three high-level uh, challenges. The first is the state of infrastructure in some emerging markets. Uh, in many African countries, for example, because of poor electricity grids, tower companies are forced to use more expensive and less green uh, energy alternatives, such as diesel which of course poses uh, a big challenge. Uh, I, would also, I would also highlight uh, regulatory uh, instability, uh, particularly in areas such as spectrum, taxation, competition and infrastructure. This obviously deters investment both in the country uh, and the industry and I think also more can be done in terms of transparency. So. Uh, in terms of policy making and administrative procedures such as licensing and uh, permitting, uh, more can be done to make these processes transparent so that they are clear to, to all stakeholders. Uh, and the, it's the final challenge uh, I would highlight uh, which uh, relates to the points I've just made is political instability, which of course goes uh, hand in hand with policy and regulatory stability. Now, American Tower, I understand, is, is American one more time. Uh, now, American Tower Corporation, I understand, is a member of ITU. I wanted to ask you, what's the value of ITU membership for you? 
we are very happy to be members of ITU uh, and in, in terms of value of membership it gives us the opportunity to engage with different stakeholders uh, in the ICT sector both from the government states and uh, industry peers uh, and collaborate with them uh, and contribute to discussions which help define uh, ICT policy and through attending uh, these kind of events and participating in meetings and forums, we're able to make uh, that contribution, uh, hear the views uh, of uh, governments and our uh, peers on what challenges the industry is facing. And this obviously provides further opportunity uh, for us to align on synergies uh, and uh, opportunities uh, for smart partnerships, which of course is at the crux of goal 17 of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. It certainly is. And finally, ITU Telecom World, what have been your impressions of this year's event? It's been, it's been a fantastic event. Uh, obviously, it's, it's our first uh, for American Tower, but uh, the event, uh, we, we've certainly enjoyed uh, being here. It's, it's, been, it's been a great opportunity for uh, us to engage uh, with different stakeholders uh, on determining how we can uh, better societies and uh, their advancement through adopting smart uh, solutions. And this, uh, this dialogue uh, is prerequisite uh, if we really want to reap the full and true benefits of connectivity. And I don't think there's any better place uh, to have that dialogue than telecom world. Uh, and just uh, on that, on behalf of American Tower, I would like to extend my appreciation to the government of South Africa for its hospitality and for supporting telecom world and also to the ITU for convening such a great event uh, on such a large scale. Ravi Suchak, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Great stuff.